in the second consecutive postseason weekend for Nick Dugan at his seventh collegiate start. He has two decisions this year, a win and a save. They both came on the same day, and they both came last weekend when he threw both ends of the doubleheader, both elimination games. Texas, again, the road team like in game one on Saturday in the lineup for head coach David Pierce. Dugan's 2-2 to Thomas. Misses. No, it's a delayed strike three call. Hang with it, kid. Lifts the 2-2 and the setter. Eddie Park creeps in. He's starting to still ramp things up and in a big spot here. All right, the Stanford lineup comes up for the first time with Eddie Park at the top of a group. The top of the order hasn't necessarily been vicious. This is a line shot past the dive of Mitch Daly at short. And there's Tommy Troy, Braden Montgomery. And this one gets past Garrett Gilmet. And Tommy Troy moves up, takes a big turn, and thought about third as well. 3-2. It is, and it's down. The first two years, didn't have a hit, had just seven bats. Look out. Witt throws it into center on a pickoff bid. Witt's payoff. Yeah! Got him missed. Oh, that is a big strikeout win. The curve early on for Tanner Witt. Leaning heavily on the off speed. Two outs, bases emptied the payoff. And Kennedy rolls it toward second. Bowser was played toward first. His bat has come on recently. Kennedy goes, the pitch of ball, the throw from Moore does not get the speedy Eric Kennedy. And Dugan's 1-2. Hits Flores. So two on for Texas here in the second. I think they're going to say it hit the knob. Mm. David Pierce strolls down from the third base coach's box and wants to talk it over with Kevin Sweeney. I think it hit him. I think it hit his right arm. I do too. All right, well, they just came back out of the challenge by David Pierce, and he doesn't like the answer. And now the pitch to Flores, and he bounces it towards short at Timo Becerra. So instead of two on for Texas, the second inning ends. And Moore pulls it out of the reach of Jared Thomas and in the right field. It is a sixth hit of this super for Malcolm Moore. And a leadoff knock for Stanford in the second. Bowser skies this one. Struck well to center. It's another for Drew Bowser. This kid can mash. Stanford strikes first. Kid out of Harvard West at Westlake High School down in L.A. And when he came in, one of the most highly touted recruits in the entire country. Now Sabor Campbell grabs one out of the reach of the third baseman, Peyton Powell, and it's three straight hits. 3-2, Becerra drops it down with two strikes. Powell throws him out. With a breakdown like that, how can you not enjoy what Eddie Park does at the dish? Bounces this to Jacko down. Flash your best stuff right away. This one goes to the backstop. Close play, the tag is not in time. Campbell bolts home, and it's three-zip Stanford. Watch where Gilmette is sitting up right here, and remember, I mean, it's it's mid-90s stuff on the mound. They're actually trying to go fastball in, and that one just sails. Now 3-1 to Troy, who chops it high to Mitch Daly, who waits on it, gets rid of it. His first time. And he rolls the first one at Bowser, and it goes past him on a sliding bid, and Thomas is on on another 0-2. That's down, runner takes off, Moore's throw. Not in time, the payoff. Powell strikes out. I mean, for me, I didn't know what the pitch count was, but it wasn't anything too, too crazy. Out of work, Carter. And uh, I mean, it wasn't anything out of the ordinary. In all seriousness, like, what is the probability of you pitching? Is it zero? I mean, it depends who you ask. I mean, his catching ability is definitely improved significantly but uh just his demeanor is you know worlds and leagues above where he should be as a true freshman two outs here in the fourth for texas down three porter brown finds one in the left center field the base hit hold past the dive of carter graham and in the right field porter brown goes first to third for texas 3-0 Misses, and they are loaded. How about Texas trying to overcome multiple three-run deficits to win in a Super Regional after starting his career at Vandy? Yeah. First pitch swinging, and he blasts it to right and runs it all the way to the wall. Pierce gives Flores a windmill, and this game is tied. Pretty good swing by Jack O'Dowd right there when Texas needed it. You said he was in the weekend rotation earlier. 3-2. Outside. 
in this game three of the Super. Campbell bunts it back toward the mound, and Morehouse throws him out. Got more than 49. That misses. Becerra with a stare down. The 1 1. Ground ball to third. Gobbled up. Powell tries to recover in time, and he got him. That's out number two. Peyton Powell started to jog off toward the dugout. Automatic four fingers would go up and head down to first base. Morehouse is 0 1. Graham lines it over second in the right center field, a base hit. Bowser scores and Stanford leads. This week, Friday, we get started in Omaha. The Men's College World Series. Six of the eight teams, we know who they'll be. The 0 2. Montgomery lines it toward left. Brown won't get there. But Sarah and Troy score, and it's 6 3 Stanford here in the fourth. Look at where the hits have come for Stanford in this inning. So you got bases loaded for Carter Graham. He takes the cutter and takes it the other way. Maybe even close to done. Rio strikes out. Payoff. Tommy strikes out. Panthers 2 2 pitch. Campbell lines it toward right center field, slicing away from Park, and he can't get there. More two out activity for the Horns. Payoff. So Met strikes out. That misses, and it's a four pitch walk. Bowser strikes out. Another righty now in Sabor Campbell. Rolls the first one towards short. Daly stabs it, goes to second, and gets the lead runner more for out number two. 1 1. Becerra chops it high left side, and Peyton Powell not picked at first. Campbell bolts, Thomas is throw, a good one to get Campbell. 1 1 to Porter Brown, and he grounds it towards second. Bowser dives, throws from his knees. Brown had started into a sort of banana turn around first. That might have helped Drew Bowser get the out on a fine play at second. Yeah, give him credit for just getting rid of it. I mean, Bowser clearly didn't have all the baseball, but lays out. 2-2. Two -two. Kennedy gets a piece of it. Sliding stab over at second, and Kennedy beats it out. Force him into the zone. 1-0. The 2-0. But we also know he's wild. And it's a four-pitch walk. So in a game three where, oh, and Ryan Bruno's looking back at home plate umpire Kevin Sweeney on his way off against the Cardinal relievers. And Daly walks to load him up. Down zone two. Struck him out. Three, two. Park lines it, left field base hit. First pitch winging to third. Powell to second. O'Dowd turns two. Five, four, three for Zane Morehouse. One, two. Powell rolls it left side. Troy with a long way to go, and Powell is on. It's two, two. Campbell strikes out. 3 0 pitch. Yo, Matt takes high. Two, two. Hits Porter Brown. And right away, Drew Dowd motions that he intentionally wow. made a movement, and that's the call from Kevin Sweeney. So it's a strikeout, and there's two gone. David Pierce comes down to argue the case of Porter Brown. Intentionally moving to get hit is automatically a strike. If you freeze, you're okay. Dowd deals. Kennedy strikes out. Morehouse. Has kept it right there. Now Braden Montgomery's on there with a single to start the seventh. A pretty wide margin this year. Rios bounces it right side with O'Dowd up the middle. Montgomery to second. 2-2 two -two to Moore. On the ground to first. Thomas goes to second. And Daly throws back, but not in time. 1-2 pitch. Outside, runner goes. A pump from Gilman. Now he throws through. And Moore props a run down and gets tagged out. Number two and perfectly executed. Run him all the way back. It shortens the throw if he needed. And then Bowser strikes out. 3 2. Outside, Flores walks. Dab delivers. Line drive in the left field. Rios was in. He retreats and can't get there.
bounces off the top of the wall. A stop sign for Flores. Scott's 2-2 two -two to him. Makes the catch as Flores tags and scores, and Campbell's throw to third. The 1-0. Thomas chops it right side, and Graham cuts it off for out number two. Scott to Powell. First pitch swinging, and he plugs the gap to make it a one-run game. There it is for Peyton Powell, the big hit he's been waiting for. That is a big-time two-out hit right there for the Longhorns. The two-out hit of the night for Texas. Scott's 0-1. 0-2. His 2-2. Deals. Payoff pitch. 3-2 again. Ground ball, center field, base hit. Powell rounds third. This game is tied. Wow. Now Garrett Gilmets. Hitless in this super. Campbell goes. Gilmet swings through it. It was just a really good swing to got him. It's 1 2. Here it is. 3 2 pitch. Gilmet takes strike three calls. His 3 0 to Campbell is a four pitch walk. Gordon, obviously, very short rest. 110 pitches just a few days ago for the left hander. Becerra squares and does try to push it up along first, and it hit him out of the box. So Becerra's out number one. And come on back to first, Sabord Campbell. 1 1. Bouncing ball, right side, long way to go, and O'Dowd can't get there. Campbell, big turn. No, he's safe. Daly wants a challenge, and David Pierce is already motioning for it. Safe at second. Wow, that is about as close as it gets. CG yesterday in game two. And now Troy to right, and Dylan Campbell roams in toward the line for out number two. Campbell, his throw all the way through. Got him! Dylan Campbell! No, you didn't! Wow! Well, kind of like Texas early. You're not going to waste any time. Go to your best, and Dixon starts it off right. Back to a breaking ball right there. 3 1. And Flores works a third walk. 0 2. O2 pitch. Montgomery strikes out. How about Lucas Gordon? And it, I mean, he's just simplifying. He just keeps throwing the same thing in the same spot. 2-2 two, two pitch. Reels pulls it. On the line to left. God! Oh, no! Off the wall! He thought it was a home run. Tosses his helmet. And he's safe at second. Stanford all came out of the dugout. And have you seen that before? I think everybody thought it was a home run. He thought it was. It got lost in the white of the Pac-12 sign on the wall out there. First pitch. A one. The one one. On a one two. Two two home. Three two to more. Ball four. Lucas Gordon's first. One zero. Oh. One one to Bowser. Bowser skies this one. And they don't spot. 